Hey Fit Lab, Coach Free here giving the whiteboard breakdown for Saturday, July 11th. Today the equipment you're going to need is a kettlebell or a dumbbell if you don't have a kettlebell. For the warm up, once you start off with a 400 meter run, when you get back, we're going to do two rounds to 10 alternating lunges. So that's going to be five on each side. We can do step forward lunges here, make sure that chest stays up. Come back and then trading legs go on the other side. So 10 total, five each side, then 10 squats. That first round, we may hang out at the bottom of the squat, get kind of loose, rocking back and forth. Let's make sure that we're not falling forward, our chest is standing up, standing up in our squat, give me 10 of those. We'll give me 10 push ups. Let's warm up these push ups by making sure that we're sticking those elbows back into our push up and not flaring elbows out when we get in this position. Let's practice that getting elbows back towards our hips or towards our ribs. After that, we can get 10 upright rows. So if you have a weight, a barbell, something like that, we're going to stand up tall, tuck those ribs down, just pulling that arm up. If you have two, you can do 10, or you can do 10 with your right, and switch and do 10 with your left. After you finish that warm up, we're going to get into our Metcon warm up. For our Metcon warm up, we're going to do two rounds, start with five burpees. Just trying to get loose, getting ready for the burpees in the Metcon, and then we're going to move into five kettlebell swings. For those kettlebell swings today, let's make sure that we're setting up behind the kettlebell when we're working out. In the middle of the Metcon, we tend to set up right over it, and then we get this weird position of having to generate a lot of momentum before we get that first swing. If I set up behind it, I can hike the kettlebell to myself, squeeze my glutes, and drive that kettlebell up in the air. So it'll look like this. Hips go back, grab that kettlebell, height, and squeeze. After those kettlebell swings, you're going to need five kettlebell goblet squats. So what I want to do is get that kettlebell in that front rack position, making sure I turn down that rib cage and lock in my core. Once I get that weight up, make sure I go down to the bottom of my squat, keeping that chest up, and stand back up. After those five, you're going to give me a 10 second forearm plank. So for our forearm plank, we'll go down to our elbows, and let's make sure we're trying to stay as level as possible. We're not dipping down or arching up during that workout today. For Metcon, you have a buy-in of 26 burpees before that workout starts. Once you finish those 26 burpees, you're going to be six rounds. Starting with 19 kettlebell swings, then 20 push ups, and then 19 goblet squats. When you finish going through all six of those rounds, you're going to do a cash out. That cash out, three minutes and 49 seconds on the plank, working from our forearms. The trick is first time you break, you owe me three burpees. Second time you break, you owe me four burpees. And if you have to take three or more breaks, you owe me nine burpees from then on. So, Try and go for a big hole, get it done, let me know how you guys do.